Hello, welcome to the stream. Now, let's get going. Uh, last time, first of all, I didn't actually have anything. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. I forgot to mute my uh, stream view, so I actually was hearing myself, which felt terrible. Anyway, last time we were actually drawing uh, kind of a set piece, and also we I didn't actually set it up to to save anything, so it actually had everything stay there. So uh, it should we're gonna do some uh, still life today. It should be download somewhere or not? Oh, what? I thought I saved it. Hmm. That's strange. I do have a few things. Actually, I haven't actually drawn this, so. We're we'll doing this today. Or at least for part of today. Set that up. And that's the wrong layer. Here we go. I've actually been like terrible about drawing cats, so we're trying to do this. Drawing a lot of shapes. Now, again, last time we were trying to do a little more fictional set pieces. It's going to be drawing from life, a lot of practice. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry about new stream Friday. I just could not function enough to do that. But here we are today. Uh, and we're also going to be doing a lot of other things in the future, hopefully. And there's no, uh, I still need actually money because things have been getting kind of poor in terms of like family life, so need money. Uh, we are going to be doing uh, commissions uh, whenever possible, and you guys can actually make it so that you can that I can stream them. This is actually that I'm gonna restart this. I've been like fairly bad at draw life drawing, so there we go a little better. I'm just gonna try doing more in layers. There's more about learning sh shape rather than and proportion rather than uh, I guess accuracy. I guess you can say. It's difficult. Yeah, this needs the head to be a little larger. Where did it? Oh, that's where it is. Okay. Set that back. Make it a little larger. Oh, no. And that should be about right. Okay, here we go. It's looking better. I, again, like I've never been good with drawing animals, so this is going to be a big test. Big, big test. Um, I'm going to separate this head from these front paws. I, I do love the radial wheel, by the way. It's so, so good. Uh, I'm considering actually dropping Autodesk because Honestly, it is so difficult because uh, this does not allow for window capture whatsoever, from what I can tell. So I am actually uh, looking probably for something that'll actually do window capture, so I don't have this terrible setup that I have right now. So if anyone who's watching this has suggestions, you guys can like. Uh, DM me or try and message me. I have like social media down at the bottom for uh, stuff other than uh, for stuff anything other than uh, Tumblr because that's way too fucky. Okay, hmm. yeah, this will make it a little easier. Have Kind of a mask layer underneath. Hmm. And again, this is still very difficult to try and do. Oh, that's the wrong layer. Here we go. Hmm. 
Let's see here. Uh, actually, I have an idea. Make this a little easier for myself. This, this is a study. This isn't like, you know, oh, I'm showing off how good I am. It's more so learning. There we go. Okay, now we have this. Oh, actually, hold on. First of all. And again, I might not be quite talkative because we actually have uh, people over, which is no fun. But, yeah, whatever. I have the stream going. This should be fine. I'll bring this over here for a little comparison. So, why is this over here? Oh, yeah, that's not great. So, going to delete that so that that's on its own. Hmm. Uh, as you can see here, like this kind of crops in for whatever is there. So, I'm just going to do this. Oh, not that. Invert and then delete. And also, I need to test to make sure. Okay, because sometimes it's weird. Sometimes it will actually uh, make it so that there's. It'll, it'll make it so that like whatever I have selected, the area I have selected, doesn't match, which can be incredibly frustrating. But, you know, we're, we're doing fairly well here. Uh, what else? Is there anything to really talk about? I mean, uh, oh, I'm actually getting my Switch in, which is going to be a lot of fun after like, what is, what is it at this point? Like, it's it's been nearly five months since the Switch, Switch first released, and I'm not only just now getting uh, a Switch, because, god, it's so difficult. But yeah, I, I'm getting one, finally, and I'm pretty excited to get Splatoon. There was a weird thing with the ordering that it was saying, oh, you know, it's not going to come until, like, August 11th, but, you know, that it the tracking is actually saying, oh, yeah, it's actually going to come in tomorrow. Which, I mean, exciting, but that's weird. I was thinking I wasn't actually going to be able to make it to the, to the upcoming Splatfest. Looks like I actually might. Uh, we're going to do a face on here at this point. I'm going to like try and detach from there to try and actually make this. Trying to get that kind of quiet apathy that seems to be very front facing, so I, I'll actually have to change the markings on this, because it makes it look like it's to the side, it's more so just slightly off from looking directly at you. But, yeah. Do -do -do. Yeah, this is a cute cat. I think I was watching a, uh, a vlog that someone was doing this, and I was like, that is so cool, and it looks very majestic. Oh, I ran onto the wrong layer. Uh, I hate when this happens, but that's what this stuff is for. Or just an infinite number of undos, which this actually does not have. So, got that, and we're just gonna move that over pretty much, just shrink it to the appropriate size. I need to make those eyes a little more, a little more round. Got a friend. Uh, this is this is interesting, I think. And then with that, we can erase inside of that. So hopefully, so hopefully everything is going to be fine. Not a whole lot to talk about. Oh God, that looks scary. That looks scarier than Stray Cat. Jeez. Oh, by the way, I've actually uh, yeah, I've been watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm planning on looking at the dub that they aired the other day, and how is that? that's not right at all. Uh, and I actually started reading Ventuario, which also reminds me I gotta do my Spanish, although it's not Spanish. <laughs> that Ventuario is in Spanish, it's Italian, I was just 
hearing it, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I still have that to do. Oh god, that looks almost scary. I think it's because this is too far to the right. Just gonna last of that, bring it a little closer. Ah! Oh. Yeah, that's still scary. But yeah, again, I need to find a new program because as like as new as this is and all that, it's been a uh, it's been treating me well because there's the like window capture and I only actually use like two brushes and I still should probably do some more stuff with the synthetic paints, which other things have synthetic paints, some of which are better. But I've seen people use Sai and the fact that its flow is way better, but I haven't like done much with flow here because like flow is different from opacity obviously and it's it like it's been weird um, oh, oh I'm like now looking at it again like oh yeah that cat's face is way more slender than it actually appears to be I was doing some stuff yesterday and I was like doing really well but it's all like stuff I'm not gonna stream and it's also like not great anyway but whatever it's fine Where is I got more of this? Is that yeah that cat's fit I still needs to go closer. Uh oh, hold on. Sorry. I mean I have coffee. At least I don't have coffee here with me, which like kinda of makes exacerbates the situation, but I've been like it gets me a little like you know, like gassy or whatever, like not like like just in like a sort of like burping all the time kind of sense. Yeah, I use mostly this one brush for everything. Again, this looks like, almost looks like Stray Cat. Even this, like they had that whole thing, that Stray Cat's like a British blue, which was fun, interesting. What is this? Oh, I screwed up that line completely. It goes like that and then that. Okay. So, got that and that. It seems like it almost looks curved, but you can tell it's not, which is interesting. Yeah, everything I draw is almost like a million sketches layered on top of each other, which is fun. And I've also like completely given up on things like uh, th things like line art, I like like nice clean line art, because that it's obnoxious and not any fun whatsoever. So I can probably at this point get a little deeper in the uh, different stuff. I should take a better look again at the uh, at the proportions of all of that placement. So it the 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 head's too small. Luckily, put this all in a group. And then I can do all these things that are layered on top of each other without actually having to to do with them individually. Yeah, everything like Sketchbook has, I, like I don't use everything to its advance. I think the only thing this has over some others is that this has built-in tools. Because I've seen some people like talk about theirs, and there's like not there isn't there just isn't them. Like there's no rule. There's there's no what what does this call it? It doesn't show it, but like it's in a it makes ellipses, which is nice. But I hardly use them for much of anything except for making perfect circles. I use the ruler a good bit when I'm doing anything geometric. But, and, you know, I just don't really use anything like the, the ellipses for anything but perfect circles. Uh, I think we got the head fairly all right for now. I think we might want to run into the into the rest of this. So I'm gonna use some color to try and distinct make this distinction. Try to make all that, and we'll probably just do some like uh, some very messy painting for the background. And yeah, this is the this is the second stream I've done. It's not great or professional, but you know it's fine. We're doing all right. Uh, I need to like make the little like because it's kind of a 
kind of got like some excess skin or fat, so it's got some chub. It's cute. And oh, I put that on the wrong layer. I thought I had made a new one. How is that? How is that like? Do do do. Yeah, it the leg kind of overlaps that, so it's more like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing real special. I need to that yeah, because you see that it kind of like it's more upright. Then it kind of shows it here. This looks almost like it's puffing its chest out, so it's more like. That I think here. Oh, not eliminating that. What am I not miss? What am I? Oh, okay. I'm gonna merge those two together, I guess. So yeah, the secondary sketch is gonna look a bit better, I think. And again, like we have like all these different stuff to have, which is which is fun. I will probably do some other stuff. I thought I had downloaded some of the other uh, things, like I had it on my phone, like some really nice pictures of flowers and all that. Wow, okay, yeah. You also have to remember, like, I, I remember like studying this and like figuring it out that like, uh, like similar to us, cats have like these different, like, it's the similar segmentations because you have, you know, it's essentially like this is your upper leg, this is essentially your lower leg, and this is your foot. It's just that the foot is dramatically stretched. Which is like you know it's just like a, just a developmental trait for feline species, and it's a similar like thing that you see in dogs and all that. But yeah, I think at this point, I mean I pretty much have an entire thing here. I could probably just uh, I just erase some of the lines and then just kind of slowly build it up. I I mean actually honestly. Doing this because I don't remember what this is. It this? Yes, it was this. I can just do my tackle, which I actually did this cool, t like tutorial piece that wasn't like anything big, but it was like it was real nice because what it what it did was it kind of just showed off like hey, you can actually uh, like for painting you can totally just kind of use this sort of subtraction method, which usually like when I'm doing actual painting I'll actually have a highlight instead of erasing. I just am using this for now because I don't. I want to like change the colors, and doing that like outside of this is real bad. So we're just kind of making it transparent sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, like if you build your highlights, like you start from an accent and like build your highlights, it is actually like I've I've seen it, it makes it a lot better. It's more dimensional. So that, that's just my my thoughts on it, and it's real nice, to be honest. What is this? I need to look at that. It's it looks almost flat, but you can kind of see the back, the this part right there, like the paw stuck underneath. So we're gonna try and take that away. Yeah, that looks a bit better. I need to add back like some dimension to behind it, but we're just gonna do this. Yeah, yeah, kind of get that shape in. That that enters. You have to like look where like things overlap or inter like intersect. I'm gonna move the head a little bit over. Do do do. Which actually now I can actually see this. Get that off. Because if you try to use this tool, the transform tool, it like it is from a different like it has a different point anchoring it, so it just looks awful. Do I have my voice on? Hold on. Yeah, I did. Okay. I was worried because I couldn't see it very well. We have all that, and also like uh, instead of like watching a very very boring uh, VOD, I am gonna I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna download the VOD and then just edit it down. Anything that's like like oh this is boring and unnecessary, I'm just gonna delete that. Yeah, that's what I'll do. We have this, which. I think this is kind of just right. 
So we're kind of just showing off some of the dimension. We also don't need that because we have that. And then I'm going to do the tails a separate layer, make it a little easier. Actually, since it's kind of weird where it is, kind of just see it overlaps where the joint is there, which is why it's kind of undeterminate, indeterminate, I guess is the proper word. I hate words, to be honest. I was terrible in English, but I think it was just, I didn't care. And also, like, I, it's one of the reasons I 100% hate Ernest Hemingway, aside from being a terrible and awful writer, like, I had, like, bad experience with uh, the work with one of my, because of my teacher. He was awful. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to put a mask layer on top of that, so we don't have to see that. There we go. So that looks a little better. So how is that? Uh, the cat's face is, again, poor, so I think I'm going to do the thing I did earlier, more stuff where it's like pretty much traced on, but it's like, it's not bad. It's just, you know, me lear like this is learning, you know? Especially since do drawing animals is hard, you know, especially if you're not a furry like half of my friends are, Jesus. I swear, like, I'm pretty sure like half of them are furries, at least half. Everywhere, I don't have many friends. Yeah, I think, you know, this internal, god, it looks almost like a podcast. It's so, like, not, doesn't look nice. Do -do -do. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. We can change what we need to here. Because those are nice eyes. I'm gonna keep those, but I'm gonna shrink, kind of shrink them down like that. Just like that, pretty much. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Oh, that's obnoxious. I didn't realize I did that also. Like that. That is very obnoxious. I did not realize that I'd done that. Oh, nope. Oh. Wow, okay. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, this, like, again, like, drawing, drawing animals is difficult because it's a sort of life drawing that I'm not at all used to. I don't need this furry texture here. Not It doesn't really contribute to anything, to be honest. Just this, and this, and we can kind of just set it up here. I, guess, I hope you guys can't hear that. You probably can't because like, this isn't like all too sensitive, but again, like it'd be super obnoxious if you can hear it. And I do apologize. What is going on? I think it's because this eye looks so much larger. So, so much larger. Yeah, try it. Make that smaller. Jeez. It truly is. Like, again, this is so difficult for me personally. I think I'm going to do what I was doing yesterday where I'm like, not, like covering entire portions and then just erasing it. Because it's like, it's good. It, it helps give dimension without having to cover the entire thing. It looks better already. Wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, like, we're constantly learning. It makes it easier. Also, especially since I'm trying to, like, block out what I'm trying to figure out, you know? Make, make the entire thing easier. There we go. That seems better. Oh my gosh. And, like, there's a lot of parts here that I really don't need. So I'm trying to like just figure it out. Yeah. Um, oh my Jesus, that's ugly. <laughs> this is, I'm like I don't want to be mean to this cat, but like this drawing of a cat is bad. It's just bad. 
of, oh, that's another thing. This part right here, you can kind of see the neck extend. I don't have that there right now, so it's kind of going to add that. Oh my Jesus Christ. Uh, gonna yeah, need to mask more. Need to mask more. And it's so weird because like it's such a like it's a soft body. It's a very soft body. What is this head shape? I think I think I need to bring this, all this right here, just right there. I need to bring that in here. I'm just gonna use this. Gonna bring it in some. How is that? Oh, okay, I understand what that is. Okay, I was like, what the hell is that? That's it was just something from a different layer. That is still there. Oh my god. This is not the best. Because again, I don't know how to draw animals. But again, it's a learning process. Everyone's gotta learn at some point. Well, not everyone needs to learn how to draw animals, but I want to learn. Look at that. I need to make this cat's face dramatically <laughs> dramatically less fat sadly it's almost it's almost like mm, yes mm. oh god what is that remind me of I don't know so I'm gonna since we're kinda showing this I'd like to do that which by the way block transparency is a dream especially when you're like painting stuff it's like oh hey oh god Ooh. Uh, like for anyone who has like sides, like they have a thing similar called clipping layer, except it's an on an entirely different layer. So, so you can like change it without changing the base of it, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it works uh, wholesale for a lot of these different things. Is that? Oh, that's another thing. It, I gave it a mile long forehead. Hi, pearls at you. That's rude, but whatever. Which pearl am I talking about? Let's be real. Let's be real. Her her forehead is pretty much that large in canon. Oh my god. Alright. I think... Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I do see a problem. I'm gonna take this hind leg. And just kind of just bring it back a little bit. Do -do -do. So that it lines up more. Because you can see here it lines up more with the forearm. Rather than... Uh, well, like towards the middle of the forearm, which this needs to be actually made a little thicker. Oh, that's my that's my solid. I I do really use just pretty much just two uh, things for my entire uh, for all of my art. I've made good stuff off of it too. That's one of the weirder parts. Hold on. Yeah, coffee. That, that's that's a still reference. All right. There we go. Do it look right? Does that look right? I'm gonna need to make this tail smaller. And just boop, boop that right there. Um, need to bring this this in more. Uh, like again, looking at uh, reference material is always really good. Like, like if you can, like you know, learn to draw from life. If or whatever, because it, it's helpful. I've never been good at like actually drawing things in life, but you know. Because a lot of subjects just move way, way too much. I don't like it. Uh, oh, I was like, why is that cutting that off? It's because of this. This part is extending. Ow. Right. Sorry about that. Doesn't let you just kind of do that. Ah! Oh no! Hold on. I don't like rotating much. Like, it feels weird. And I know it's probably better for whatever you do, but it's still like obnoxious. This needs to go in a little more, so I just... And does the torso, like the bottom part, need to be extended? Yes, because it's kind of like, got a sort of like this, oh, like this. 
So we're going to try and bring this around. Where is this? Where is that? Oh, oh! I was like, why is that so zoomed out? It's just, it's just some stuff. Doesn't matter. Are you ready for, ready for? I've had that song stuck in my head since yesterday on my way to work. But yeah. Uh, oh my god. Now that I've done all this cat in this style here, it looks almost bad. Now was okay. It's so like which layer is which? I mean, like I could, I could label them, but I don't see the uh, labels easily. It's like whatever. It's it's that thing. So, I think yeah. There's more like space for this. Also, this needs to just kind of just go up a little more, which means I think I need to bring the head up more. No, oh my god, what? Yeah, this is way too low. I need to raise the body up, surprisingly enough. This is like ruining everything. Because <laughs> like the relation between the arms and the body aren't matching up. So you need to change that and then bring the, the head up as well. A little space. Is that a friendly cat? Doesn't look like a friendly cat at the moment. And what am I? What is this? What is this? Also, the, the, some of this is starting to actually get obnoxious because I need to do the thing I did earlier again. Wow. All right. Ah! Forgot that I unlocked the transparency and didn't relock it. Yeah. I, again, I love these brushes. They're real good. What am I? Oh, that's what that was. I was like, what is there? That's the wrong layer. It's this one. Okay. What is here? Is that? No, that was just like erased from that. And because that's so far out there, you can tell that it's outside of this. So if you crop it, it just it just everything outside of it is gone. Oh no, it's not. Apparently, that's weird. All right, fine. I I'll just do the thing I did earlier. You, I looked like it was something that was like outside of it. There we go. But yeah, it'll try and just put like put everything it can in there. Yeah. Uh, if anyone had wanted to see my stream from last week and couldn't catch it, and we're just like, oh, you know, me, like, and I actually tweeted and uh, made a post. I was like, yeah, you know. I'm gonna try and make it so that I'll put a video of it on YouTube. Well, that didn't happen because I didn't had it. I didn't have it save the VOD. I need to bring this. This neck needs to be like up, like to cut up to here. Wow. Okay. Like draw. Like drawing a cat is a very interesting experience. First of all, I love cats. I love cats. But I'm not great at drawing them. Very slight. It's not even there very much there even. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh that's that. Okay. Don't really need those lines there. Is this a friendly cat yet? This this is way too brown. Oh my god. I'm like yeah, I'm scrutinizing everything, but like I need to. I need to because I'm an artist. I need to like scrutinize my work, get better. And it's not to be mean to myself. I think I'm a great artist to be honest. But you know, can't be, can't be great at everything. Can't, you know, can't say I'm the best or whatever. All right, kind of use those because, like, the line between that, because like it's fur and a lot of skin, like what you don't see is like a lot of, oh, like there's a lot of stuff you don't see. I guess is what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of stuff that's just not there. I need to change the angle of this because this is pretty much like, all, like, like just barely like almost going down but not quite so I need to just build that part there and over that and then just kind of raise some of that there and that 
cute and all and like chubby body, not a chubby face. Cats like faces are like fairly like fairly slender. Gosh. Did that again. Keep forgetting that. Alright. Yeah, that's a little better. So I'm probably just gonna do this whole thing. I might use this as shading. Because if I kind of just group this all together, and anything that's like got like a mask underneath it, I can just put that grouped together. Makes it a little easier. Alright, it means that I have to open stuff up, like if I don't label it. I'm really not into labeling it right now. Oh my gosh. Alright, so now. Honestly, yeah. How does this look? First of all, I'm just gonna. What, what was I do? Look, I'm just gonna grab probably this. This color. Make a new layer. Da da da. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my god. I didn't realize it was that up, and I think it's because I forgot that I did that and because I'm not like lowering down the uh, background you guys I, I don't know how much noise gets picked up by this so you guys can probably just be like you can tell when I'm muting my mic and if I like oh yeah that just that's it that sounded weird but yeah here you go um Oh my gosh. I, I've i done like a lot of work for like different stuff and I've always been like, what is the difference between PSD and TIFF? There's essentially none, I found out. And the reason for that is because they're made by the same, like they're both made by Photoshop. They're both made by Photoshop. They actually like, and they do the exact same thing. It used to be apparently that TIFF was a lot less of a lossy, uh, I'm sorry, it used to be that PSD used to be it used to be more widely accepted because of like all the you know creative suites had them and none of the and a lot of things didn't support TIFF. Well now if if you can run a PSD you can run a TIFF at this point. Alright. So now if I put oh no not hardly uh multiply. Yeah. Also that's bad. Oh my god. In like because of the fact that a lot of this was being covered up, I couldn't tell. Where some things ended, where things didn't. Wow. Okay. I should make the head a little larger. That's wrong. Where? This one. Try and give it a little bit of a an almost pseudo 3D. Not that. Because you can actually do this to the whole thing. I can hear my computer whirring, like just whoo, as it struggles. Oh my god, I think there's an issue with its uh, graphics card, because my computer has been crashing when I watch YouTube, and I'm like, what are you doing, friend? Dying is what is the answer, apparently. So, ah, not that. Hmm. I need to extend this paw a little bit. Here it is. Wow. Anyway, yeah, cats are cool. Cats are great. Well, I, I love cats. I'm not going to do patterns on this because that's a lot, to be honest. I'm probably just going to like leave this as a pretty basic sketch. We'll go on to more, to more stuff. Because yesterday I only made one piece and it looked eh, okay-ish. So, we got this. So I'm probably at this point, I don't need that. Don't need that. I'm just gonna move this to a place where it can exist if I want to do more later. But it's not gonna do anything right now. So we're just gonna crop it out. Give it a little space. Like that. Yeah! 
and then just make a very very simple backdrop like this uh, yeah start with like this, like all like this pale light in the background and kind of give it some depth uh, Wow, all right. Yeah, I've gotten better at like sketching backgrounds to degree, but it's still like not the best. Um, what should I use? There, uh, probably something more in this range of green. Wow. Okay. Nope. Oh. Okay. And the dirt around it. Uh, it's just all leaves in front. So I'm gonna do this. Grab this again. Do all that, and then just kind of use some stuff to try and. Give it some texture like this. Actually, take my own advice again. Start dark, work my way up. And give him a shadow underneath. Uh, something less, less red, less saturated. All right. Yeah, that's better. I love pecan. It's good. It's good color for the, whenever I'm working in this area. This good? Not quite. Well, actually, no. That is pretty good for what I'm trying to do with this like very weird texture. So yeah. All right, and we're just gonna add a little bit of depth. Not that. We're going to use some of these colors, I think. Because uh, it's like beautiful cream skull. I mean, I could use yellow green for his eyes. Yellow green range for his beautiful, beautiful, striking eyes. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. That's pretty much a cream skull of a cat. So I think. Nope. I'm like, I'm like, did this work? I uh, don't know. Oh my god. I'm just gonna do this. Pretty much that. Ah, nope, 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 nope. Uh, that's bad. Actually, oh my gosh. I'm trying to do this. I'm just gonna pick my own colors. This is still working. Ah, finally. Last stream, this was just stuck above where I could grab it. Because just how like things are formatted when I do a smaller window to desaturate that, yeah, that's about right. So just gonna do that, and then for its lighter aspects, huh? Do that. I think that's right. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna make a sample there. Uh, oh wow, that's not quite right. That's almost not that. Let's kind of just do that. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, that's better. Beautiful, beautiful. Need to do. Wow, beautiful cat. Love him. Wow. Alright. Again, this is like meant to be more sketchy. I like, you know, because again, I'm not great at drawing animals. In fact, I am handedly pretty bad at it, to be honest. Oh, I was like, huh, why, you know, where's the, like, subtlety? There is no such thing as subtlety, apparently.
Uh, do, do, do. God, it's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is so difficult. Because I'm not, I've never been good at drawing animals. I've pretty much, it, like, actively avoided it for most of my life. And it's probably for good reason. I need... I wanted something like this, but it's not quite what I wanted. Is this it? I can, I can use that definitely for inside here. But for that... Yeah, pretty much. Give okay. some of that there and there. Not, you know, not the best. Not the best, but still good. Still good. I'm just gonna go in and just physically just. Well, does this work for that? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> just jokingly, does this work? No, no, it doesn't. I feel like maybe this. I need something more, more less saturated. Yeah, that's perfect. Ah. Yeah, I think that's about what I wanted, to be honest. Hmm. But yeah, I think this has actually gone a lot better than I expected. Because again, not good at this, don't have a lot of practice, but like they say, practice makes perfect. Take that off. Honestly, gonna sign this because it's not bad. It's good. It's good practice. Just take that off and where is something? I'm just gonna use this. Nope. That's less noticeable. Perfect. That's a that's a pretty decent cat. How does that look without that? <laughs> like an impressionist work is what it looks like. All right. That's enough of that. We're just gonna save this. Um, just kind of sports cat. What? What's the point of fucking, like creative names? Who needs that in their lives? Uh, again, you. Know, and I need to figure out something to practice on.